when do you start like having boyfriends? 13. 13. Mm -hmm. Sex? No, sex, 15. 15. Yeah. Oh, Boy, you think she grew up in the ghetto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. 15. Yeah. How'd Just you turned. Uh, do you think everyone, well, the, like the kid who banged you first was like, hey he man, I'm. 24. <laughs> Oh. Real? Oh, you look bad. What a oh. lucky son of a bitch. Oh, you're horny. That's illegal. <laughs> you're a little slut, aren't you? show today as a matter of fact uh lisa marie presley stopping by i'm looking forward to that wow i would like to m you know meet with her so lisa marie what brings you down to see howard Good today in question <laughs> <laughs> and so what do you think he's gonna want to talk to you about my ass uh this that <laughs> sex <laughs> anal sex um what chlamydia what else <laughs> So you've been listening yeah, to the show this morning? How you doing? Oh, yeah, I've been listening. Okay, so right. are you nervous at all or do you think you can pretty much go I'm and nervous. Talk with I'm walking into a vulture den. Is she out there? Yeah, Such yeah. it. There was one other thing I noticed about her. She's a pretty, pretty girl. Yeah. But she does have that gummy smile. She does? When she smiles, what are you saying that for? see the gums. Well. That didn't bother me. No, it doesn't. When you talk about that fortune. Oh, please. She's a hot <laughs> chick. She's rich. You said you hate gummy smiles. Oh, please, I'll have that fixed. <laughs> All right, let's bring her in here. Let's see what Lisa wore. Hold it. She's Stop wearing in your track. Overcoat. Mm. Get that overcoat <laughs> off, baby. Wow. I like your choice of clothes. I like the fishnets. <laughs> Lisa looks real nervous. Calm down. Hey, this is not an execution. <laughs> it's just an interview. You know what it is? It's just that you're so taken with me that you're nervous about doing well in front of me. And, and trust me, you'll do just fine. Oh, there you are. <laughs> you're, you're what I'm worried about. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm oh. no problem. Nice little mini skirt. <laughs> What's that, a mini outfit you'd call that? Mini dress. No. Where do you get that? I don't know. I didn't get it. You got a stylist? I did. You, you got a personal stylist. Yeah. That's the what first. Is this, what is this gummy smile? Thing? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Let me see gummy smile. I don't know. I'm not. You don't have a gummy. No. Not I was all. watching. Maybe it was Diane Sawyer had a gummy smile. <laughs> I don't you know, know, what does that mean, gummy smile? To me. She's saying when you smile, your gums show, but I don't see your gums. She's not smiling. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing right now, there's no gum. I don't see any gum. <laughs> Robin, you're tough on people. Oh, Jesus. that's not true. I'm I've been trained girl. by you. <laughs> you're awful catty, Robin. <laughs> Why the fishnet stockings? I'm in a vulture lair. Right no, now. you're not. <laughs> you're Just calm down. Everybody relax. You don't have a gummy smile. You have a yummy smile. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're not supposed to listen to the show before you come yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've been listening all morning. M I would think being married to you would be spectacular because of the money, too. Forget the fact that you're hot. You're good to look at. Mm. I'm thinking the whole dynasty thing, I like it. I want to live like a king. But does that bother you? That's immediately what people think of. Yeah, but I'm upfront about it at least. Not like not like these other dudes. I don't know. I'm I'm just a big pain in the ass, so it doesn't it doesn't I mean, I don't know if that's gonna You're not a pain in the ass. You yeah, just need to be tamed <laughs> a little bit. You've had everything done for you. No, have, I haven't. Have you ever worked a vacuum cleaner? Yes. For what Where? reason? For fun? <laughs> I used to have a vacuum. I like vacuuming. No, you don't. I did. You I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you don't have to do it, I guess you can like it. Right. <laughs> but you've never waitressed or anything. I mean, you you got a great life. So how's that all work? I've never had a job. Yeah. No, it's not that glamorous. Oh, please. I lived at a boarding school for a year and a half, and I had to do dish crew and all that stuff. And oh, that's like beautiful. Do all that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but in that's boarding school? Were you pay to go? I, my mom kicked me out of the house and put me in a boarding school. Why did she kick you out? I, I don't know. It was a pain in the ass. What's wrong with her? All she wanted was a baby. Then she gets a baby. She <laughs> kicks you out. I think she got more than she uh, bargained for with me. I think your mother's out. I'd bang her, too. Really? I'd bang you and your mother at the same time. Oh. Teach you both a lesson. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what the lesson is, but I teach it to you. That would be a bad day in the history of this country. <laughs> <laughs> That will be the day the music died. <laughs> I hope she's not listening to this. I bang you, make her, make your mom our maid because oh, she wow. doesn't. Yeah, I teach her a lesson for throwing you oh. into boarding school. Okay. She wanted to put me in a kibbutz actually in Israel first. Oh, that's that safe. Well, what in the world is she thinking? She wanted me away. You know, like, why is that? Order. 
That means she didn't raise you right. I was sort of tyrannical, I guess, and so she needed to try to set me straight. You seem kind of angry. I do. Yeah, that's good. I like it. <laughs> I <laughs> like <laughs> anger. Sexy. Yeah, but what made her so angry? That's me? the question. Yeah. I'm actually not. It's a front. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're insecure? That doesn't always work. Probably. Are you? Probably. Yeah. I like what you've done with your hair. I like the frosting. Thank you. Keep that up. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I Thank like you. frosting. See, what I, my take on you is, if I was lucky enough to be doing you, I would like, I would do like a swept away thing with you. Which is what? I would like, to, I'd, be to, I'd be a total bastard with you. Really? It's already around and stuff. Make you like I wouldn't f you till you clean the floor or something. Like she's gonna be so <laughs> wanting to f you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't say she'd want to f me. No, but in all seriousness, I think life with you would be great. I mean, you got a lot of dough. We could just hang out and do fun stuff. Mm. I mean, what's 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 wrong with that? Uh, nothing. I if guess. the sex is good, I'm there. In <laughs> fact, what do you do? See, that was one of the questions. Like, how do you even get motivated to do anything when you're Set for life. Yeah. Why? Birth. Yeah. Why do anything? <coughs> uh, well, I mean, what is the, the idle mind is the devil's playground. It's probably better to do something than not. Sounds like a good poster right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you sexually satisfied by Michael Jackson? Um, you know, I see. N the answer is either yes or no. Well, the answer would be, would I have married someone that I wasn't? <laughs> On the next Howard Stern Show. I'm just a big fan, yeah. The king of all media meets rock royalty. You're a little bad girl, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have to always get married? You're not good at it. I'm not. You're not good at picking a partner. It's true. <laughs> on the next Howard Stern Show, part two of a special two-parter continues tomorrow at 11 on E. Tomorrow. Oh, let me understand something. Yes, sir. All right. So you're born, right? Yeah. Elvis Presley's daughter. You don't even know the dude, right? Did you ever, do you have any I memories of the? Nine. Oh, you were nine. I yeah, was nine. she was old, Sorry. Uh, older than you think. Oh, you were nine. So you remember this guy? Yeah, this guy. Yeah. Was, was he good to you? Yeah. You, st you, like, you have good feelings about the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You in psychotherapy? Mm -mm. Father hunger all that? Nope. None I, of What does that mean? It means you're hungry for a father. Possibly. She's never married an older guy, though. Nick was older than me. Nick's Michael an old bag. was actually 10 years older than me. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, I He's just childish. Like he acts like a kid. Wait, yeah. I got plenty of questions about yes. that. <laughs> no he acts young. <laughs> We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that whole Michael Jackson thing because I don't get that. Yeah, I, I hear you. I'm not sure I even get Nicolas Cage because that guy's weird. You think? Yeah. You need somebody normal. Yeah, maybe. You're wrapped up in a lot of weird stuff. Yeah. You got you to gotta downsize mm. as far as I'm concerned. Simplify. Simplify. <laughs> like, like well. Let's just have some fun, right. but <laughs> let's keep it real. Okay, because right, right, I'm right. keeping it real. Mm -hmm. All right. So Elvis dies, mm -hmm. and then they set up a thing where you're the only heir, right. not your mom, just you. Well, yeah, I think my grandfather was part of the deal for a while, and then he died. So. And the way I got it figured, because I'm sitting here doing some serious, gazentes, some <laughs> some serious calculating. Mm -hmm. I think you're minimally worth two hundred fifty million dollars, yeah. and growing. Mm. Last year alone, you made thirty-seven million. Mama Lucian. No. And that was uh, without doing anything. I mean, do you do anything I'm the about the that? Do you of the board of you're the chairman of the board? Yeah. So what do you do? You yeah, got to go to do? meetings what do I and do? stuff? That means meetings. That means decisions. That means things like that. There's you get to there's decide? heads of the departments, but I you know, sort of oversee uh -huh. what's going on. You run Elvis Inc. Mm. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> would I, be your, I would sit there at the meetings with you. Sweet. I would run that empire like with an iron fist. <laughs> Elvis Inc., man. No kidding. Yeah. So tell me the lifestyle here. What are you doing? What are we doing with this money? You got your own jet? No. You don't have your own jet? No. You, tr you fly commercial? No. I, I rent. I don't, oh. I don't own. It takes, it just, you know. Because if I marry you, what we're flying on private Lisa jets. What happened Marie? It's sitting across the street from Graceland. It's Is part it? of the tour. Oh, yeah. the plane yeah, with your name on it? That thing, if it was the you know, it's been sitting there for like 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we get married, we're buying a jet. <laughs> I'm putting my foot down. <laughs> Believe me. The Howard Stern jet. <laughs> Her name's not even on it now? No. Oh, please. Oh. It's all about me. <laughs> That's true. Right. Right now. <laughs> right now it is. Mm -hmm. All right. So you, okay. 
So your your dad dies. You're now the head of the whole Elvis empire. Mm-hmm. When do you get to take over? Was it 18 uh, it or? 25. 25? I don't know, 30. It never really changed. Everything was sort of set up, you know. So if your mom wants money, she's got to come to you. That's the rub. Mm. Think about it. No wonder she, she had she a... She does really well. She's, she's like on the, on the board of MGM. And she's got a lot of stuff going on. She's producing a movie. I don't know. Mm, yeah, yeah, but she has no real money. You've got it all. <laughs> You've got the real cake. <laughs> but, you know, she must have drawn a salary those years she was yeah, running the... definitely. Yeah. Salary. She's still involved. I mean... Mm-hmm. You know. So do you have to pay her a salary? Yeah. <laughs> 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 does she have to come to you for raises for that yearly... <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, I want to talk to you about a raise. <laughs> you know what, Mom? You sent me to boarding school. I told you not to do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no kidding. So, like, when you were going to high school and stuff, was it like, did you go to high school? Yeah. I dropped out in 11th grade. I told you. Yeah, Why I go to school? A, she fig- yeah, I, I but didn't purpose. she send you off to Europe for a she while? She wanted to send me to Switzerland, then I kibbutz, and, and settled with this uh, little sort of hippie boarding school in Ojai, California. I see. Which was actually great. Because I got out of the house. Man, you're hostile. <laughs> <laughs> you hate that mother. No, I don't. Sure you do. I don't. You do? No, I don't. I had to get out of the house. What it was so terrible? Then. All oh right. No. Okay. All right. Take it easy. <laughs> We're all friends. <laughs> <laughs> when do you start, like, having boyfriends? Thirteen. Thirteen. Mm-hmm. Sex? No, sex. Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> So let's say you're going to high school. So when do you start, like, having boyfriends? Thirteen. Thirteen. Mm-hmm. Sex? No, sex, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Oh, Boy, you think she grew up in the ghetto. Yeah. <laughs> well, Fifteen. Yeah. How'd Just you turned. Uh, do you think everyone, well, like, the kid who banged you first was like, hey, man, I'm... He was I'm 24. Oh. Real? Oh, you were bad. What a oh. lucky son of a bitch. Oh, you're horny. That's illegal. You're a little <laughs> slut, aren't you? <laughs> A bad girl, aren't you? Man. 24. Mm-hmm. Anybody we know? Mm-mm. Famous dude? No, idiot. James Mexican Wood? gardener? <laughs> <laughs> A pool boy? See, si, Lisa Marie. <laughs> I am doing the hedges. <laughs> <laughs> who, was the, who was the guy? Lorne Michaels, wasn't it? The head of Saturday Night Live? The bad guy? No, not him. All right, so it was some guy, some dude named, how do you meet this dude, and how do you escape? I met him on the set, my mom was doing a movie, you know, we sort of got this thing going. You're telling me, this 24-year-old dude somehow manages to get you alone to bang you, Mm. under the watchful eye of your mother? Mm, We had to pretend like we were friends for a year, and then she found my diaphragm, and then it was over. She (laughs) tried to stop it, it was too late. Do you use a diaphragm? No, not anymore. Well, actually, I I don't know, it depends, but... Don't you find those hard to put in? They're harder to get out. <laughs> yeah. I had a girlfriend once on a diaphragm, and I used to put it in for her. Yeah. That's right. Did you take it out? That's the hard part. She no, I never took right. it out. No. <laughs> I never took it out. How's a 15-year-old get a diaphragm without a mother knowing? I had a good doctor. You had a good doctor? Mm-hmm. So the, the doctor-patient confidentiality thing is good. So were you a very horny 15-year-old? Probably. You oh. touched yourself a lot? Oh, I yes. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> or well, I had a doll's foot I liked a lot when I put me down for my nap. I knew a girl who told me she used a hairbrush at four years old. Really? Yeah, like the, the handle of a hairbrush. Yeah. I should introduce you to her. Two of you could make out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Robin used a coat rack at oh, five. stop <laughs> it. <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Those are your real breasts? No. Yes, they are. Are they your real ones? Yeah. You got a nice rack. Thanks. I mean, I'm serious. I'm looking you over. Mm. I'm checking out the goods. Thank you. Nice little package. Thank you. That's right. All right, so you have this sex at 15 <laughs> <laughs> with this guy, yeah. this Mexican gardener. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then <laughs> you, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and then you go off to some boarding school. <coughs> Is that where you marry that Scientology dude? No, that was, I was uh, 19. You still into that Scientology? Yeah. Yeah, they got you what brainwashed. Your deal with that anyway. Oh come on. What is your problem? I mean, I get I get a problem with all religion. Do you? Yeah. Now that I understand. Yeah, especially new religions. I mean, yeah, yeah, you know. I understand. We don't need any more. Uh, yeah, I mean, th- th- <laughs> got religion is big business. I know. And it's a way for a bunch of dudes who can't figure out how to make money to make money. Priests, rabbis, all of them. Right. It's just so you won't masturbate, mm. and so you'll feel guilty. Right. Trust me. 
You don't. Let me tell you something. If you were with me in bed, you wouldn't need Scientology. Hmm. You'd understand the meaning of love. Really? That's right. I'll teach you love. Your father hated Scientology. Really? I channeled him the other day. He wants you out of that. <laughs> really? Yes. Hmm. But that's another story, and I'll have that private discussion with you. All right. After I finish banging you. Right. I think being with a rich You've woman. You've always fantasized about it. A rich, powerful woman would be hot. I'm tired of being in charge. <laughs> Let her take over. All right. So is that when you get married to that guy, the Scientology guy, Danny? No, that, that was a few later. Yeah, I met him. He's not good enough for you. When did you meet him? I met him at a party with you. You don't no, even remember. No, that wasn't him. Oh, that it wasn't him? Mm -mm. Who was that guy? That was the John, other guy. The other guy. Who? John. John. Yeah. Oh, Zaka. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you vague. Look, she knows his last You're name. You're tasting man. Not on. Manacha la guarda. <laughs> All right. But Danny helped you write some of the songs on the album, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Of course he did. He does whatever she says. Oh, please. Give me a bloody break. <laughs> no? No. He's his own man? Yes. He's uh, he just likes to be behind. He doesn't he's not like jumping on this and capitalizing. Why'd you break up with him? It's a little stressful when the woman is the one with the you know, and then sort of takes away his identity and that's sort of why I kind of vacillate trying to figure out what's right, because it's like either way there's a problem. Why do you have to always but get married? Why not I'm just not anymore. Okay. You're not going to get married no, anymore? No, it's enough. a very long time. You're not good at it. I'm not. You're but not good at picking a partner. It's true. Right. You're right. But, you know, the thing with Lisa Marie is that she left her husband to go off with Michael Jackson. That I don't get. Now, let's mm. get into this. Okay. All right. <coughs> now, clear your throat. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Do you want it? <laughs> Next time. No, I'm no. Don't hock any loogies okay. on me. So he moves in and starts kissing you, and you don't resist. <laughs> Obviously not. You liked it. He <laughs> tongue you? you? Did he what? tongue you? Did he what? Did he give you the tongue? Will you stop it? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I married the Emma. So you meet Michael <laughs> Jackson. Now, where do you meet a guy like this? I met him at a, a friend, a, a friend's house at the time, mutual friend that knew both of us. Who's the friend? Elizabeth Taylor or no. one of those? Yuri Geller. Yuri Geller. <laughs> Bert Young? This guy was an artist. Guy. Rabbi Shmuley Botach. <laughs> mm, maybe. Yeah, Who's yeah. this? An artist guy? Yeah, some painter. A painter, and he had a friendship with Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. I've sat with this guy. He has nothing to say. Which guy? Michael Jackson. You did? Sure. Oh, this was that thing in your book where you said that he wanted you to. He wanted me to parade through the streets <laughs> rallying people. The guy's insane. I sized him up in two oh seconds. God. Before you get married again, you let me meet the guy. Okay. Because I, I, I know Nicolas Cage. I would have told you a, two or th a couple of things about him. Really? Sure. Well, there were signs all over the place not to go into that marriage. Mm. All right, we'll get to that marriage. <laughs> we're still, yeah, we're still with Michael ladder. Jackson. That's yeah. right. That's right. Now, we have to get deep into this. So you meet this guy, and he's charming? Yeah. This was before all that garbage happened. With the boys. Yeah. Yeah. So you meet up with him. He's a good guy. And what does he do? He take out on dates? No, it was just a, like a, we talked for a while. I forgot who he was after about 20 minutes just because he was so real with me. You yeah. thought he was hot? No, I didn't think of him like that at all. But then, um, I don't know, we started talking on the phone. He starts calling you. Well, I started calling him. He started calling me. We started becoming friends. That's what I would do with you. Now, when does Michael uh, actually make a sexual You're move? actually very sweet. Thank you. You are, too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but let's wow, get I see a connection here. <laughs> when does Michael make a sexual move? Um, I don't want to get into his sexual Oh, stuff. I'll get into oh, it. Oh, please. I'm not on. answering sexual You went too fast. Questions. You went too fast. Oh, it was Let me build right, her up. Sorry, I'll Let me work her up. building me up to <laughs> that. Right, right. I, no, you can talk to me about my sex all whatever. But all right, I'll talk to you about your sex. you're going to try to get, like, all genitals right. and <coughs> sex out of the, the, the Fair enough. people? No, I can't. Did he make you wear a strap on? <laughs> yes. Okay, no. that's what I thought. <laughs> all right. Now, wait a second. So you meet the guy, and he's talking to you and stuff, and you think you're falling in love with him because mm. you like his conversation, you like his rap. Mm. But aren't you disturbed? Because when I sat with him, I was really disturbed by the nose and all the plastic surgery. I mm. mean, it really, but I'm a guy. I and don't know. makeup. Yeah, yeah. like at, at any point did you see him without the makeup? Um, what makeup? I mean, the powder. I don't know. There's you know what I mean. The tape over the nose and the yeah, I saw him. And was it freaking you out? I didn't look at him like that. I was kind of beyond that, honestly. I know that sounds whatever, but I just you know. 
So you're going out with the dude, but it's all private on the phone. Then you probably go over to that Neverland Ranch, yeah. hanging out there, because yeah. you can't go out and be seen together. Right. You got to keep things quiet. Right. And you go over there, and there's a guy like, what does he do? Does he make you dinner? How's a date go? Um, it was, n- I don't know, we just hang out at his house, things like that. And what would you do for fun? Watch movies? Well, he's got quite a, a spread there, you know? Yeah. It's would you go on those rides place. and stuff? Yeah. And play video games? <laughs> yeah, but you're a, you are a full-bodied <laughs> sexual woman. I ain't going to sit there and play <laughs> c- rides with you. The only ride I'm taking is you. He's taking on a tilt the world <laughs> in his backyard. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, you know. And he's like a, a real perfect gentleman, a little too nice, or does he make some moves on you? No, he, he was, whenever he was ready, it, it happened. How long did that take? I wasn't the instigator. I wasn't, uh, you know, I, yeah, that wasn't something I could imagine at the time. So he moves in and starts kissing you, and you don't resist. <laughs> Obviously not. You liked it. He <laughs> tongue you? you? Did he what? tongue you? Did he what? Did he give you the tongue? Will you stop it? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I married the MF, so <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it right. <laughs> Did he spank you? No. Did Nicolas Cage spank you? I don't want to talk about it. But he did. I knew it. I would tie you up and spank you. Really? Yeah. Good. Absolutely. Good. I don't even know what hit you. Right, Robin? That's right. Uh, but can you even tell us, all right, were you sexually satisfied by Michael Jackson? Um, you know, I see. N- the answer is either yes or no. Well, the answer would be, would I have married someone that I wasn't? You up for anal? Uh, sure. Oh. <laughs> we have would you a be, winner. Would you be angry with me <laughs> while I'm giving you anal if I yelled out, hey, I'm giving anal to the king's daughter? Oh. No, I just want to know the parameters, that's all. (laughs) Would you be angry with me (laughs) while I'm giving you anal if I yelled out, Hey, I'm giving anal to the king's daughter? Or would that be like, oh, that's an insult? (laughs) No, I just want to know the parameters, that's all. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Sick, sick, sick. All right, I'll think it to myself, but I'm not going to say it out loud. I understand what you're saying. You're a hot piece of ass. You gotta look at you. I, you're I a woman. You're not a, you're not a you're not a little girl anymore. You're a woman. You're you have needs. But according to Robin, I've let myself go, right? <laughs> oh no no no! Oh I said, my god! You know, probably like after the baby or something. You know? <laughs> Did you let yourself go? I don't see it. <laughs> I gained 50 pounds with the first baby. So. How old are those kids now? 10 and 13. Yeah, if you were my woman, I chipped them off to boarding school. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna have any of that. What do you like to do for fun? I like to. I just like to hang out with my friends, honestly, and drink. Who are your friends? Um, that's like what I do. I, that's all I do to have fun. You I don't just like drink out, and hang out. out? Yeah, just like at my house or at someone else's house. I'm not really into going out and being around a bunch of drunk people. What do you drink? You like to be around drunks at home? Yeah. All right. Yeah, what? at least that's controlled. Wine or vodka. Me too. That's really? what I drink. See, that's I don't have a hangover this morning. Thank God. You were drinking last night. No. I didn't because I knew I had to not be hung over this morning. Let me get a, a sense of what it is we'd do if you and I were a couple. Uh-huh. So we'd wake up in the morning, and what do you like to do? Because I'll do whatever you want to do. I like don't care. Like, what time do we wake up? Yeah, what time do we wake <laughs> up? If I'm taking the kids to school, uh, you know, 6.30, well, 7. Oh, that early? Mm-hmm. All right, I can deal with that. Or 10 or 2. It depends on what time I stayed up until. What time do we start drinking? Well, if, if I start drinking at 10, <laughs> I could be up till 8 in the morning and then I'll sleep till 4. <laughs> right. So I'm one of those people. If you start drinking, I don't stop. I'll I'll go until I'm. Oh, you know. that's cool. That's nice. What kind of spread you got? Um, Big house. I have a w- I have one house. How many square feet? I don't know. I don't a pool. Know. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like to hang out by the pool during the day? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. You put like on a little the, bathing I don't suit. Like the heat. What it kind of swimsuits do you wear? Um, just your average swimsuit. You like to walk around naked the house, or are you uptight about your body? I'm not. I don't like walking around naked. You don't. No. Why? What's wrong with you? I don't know. I just don't usually walk around naked unless I just come out of the shower. And you would? You let There's me see. There's too many people in my house. You let me time. see you naked, or are you going to be uptight about your body? Uh, what are we talking about here? I'm talking right about if we're hanging later. out. No, later after I bang you. <laughs> um, I don't know. You'd have to see. <laughs> and you shave everything completely? Yes. That's good. Good. Hair is, m- is uh, just yeah, it's in the way. It. It's terrible. You hate body hair. Yes. You up for anal? Uh, sure. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> we have Could you a be, winner. Would you be angry with me while I'm giving you anal if I yelled out, hey, I'm giving anal to the king's daughter? Oh. Or would that be like, oh, that's an insult? <laughs> no, I just want to know the parameters, that's all. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Six, six, six. All right, I'll think it to myself, but I'm not going <laughs> to say it out loud. I understand what you're saying. Nice. <laughs> All right, okay. So I'm not a class guy, so what? All right, so, so you're with Michael Jackson, and uh, you start to realize things are going horribly bad. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, who a you, he asked you to marry? He, he wanted mm -hmm. to get married? Yeah. All right. Do you think it was a publicity stunt for him? I don't know. I do you, think you should ask him. What do you think? I don't know. Do you think he used you? You know, sketchy. Sketchy. Mm. But the whole, you know, timing was MTV, kiss. That wasn't my idea. Right. I was, yeah. So all these men are using you. Michael used you, and we're not even sure about Nicolas Cage. <laughs> I mean, that was such a short marriage. Nick didn't use me. You don't think? No. No, I don't. I mean, what mm -hmm. would he use her for? What is he? What's what's wrong with that guy? Yeah, was, what do you mean? Was he a hothead? Is that the problem? Uh, no. I mean, you know, everyone has a temper, right? Sometimes. So were you like, like when this thing with Nicolas Cage was falling apart, you're like, damn it, this is embarrassing. It's so public. Uh, and Oh, you mean at the divorce thing? Yeah. Yeah, no, that what wasn't cool. That wasn't cool. Yeah, apparently Nick didn't, he, he just said, I'm divorcing you and walked out and actually did it. Well, let me tell you about this guy. I could have told, I heard in his last marriage, he was living in separate houses he didn't the whole live marriage. with the woman, that's right. I don't think that was his choice. Oh, really? I don't, I don't, he told you about that. I, I heard that uh, when he came in. I didn't believe a thing he said. <laughs> really? Yeah, of course not. But you were so nice to him when he was on the air. Yeah. So oh, when absolutely. I walk out, you're just going to rip me open? No, not necessarily. It depends if you put on a little. <laughs> <laughs> then I love you. <laughs> you ever do another check? Yeah. I knew it. Everybody <laughs> said you had. I didn't believe it. <laughs> I, I knew ago. it. Long time ago. How old were you? 17, 16. <laughs> All right, so you get rid of him, Michael yeah. Jackson. Mm -hmm. Does that cost a lot of money? Nope. I mean, we had a, a prenup. Yeah. But I, it didn't matter. It was, you know. Where'd you marry that guy? In the Dominican Republic. Oh, really? Must mm -hmm. have been a great wedding. Mm. Was anybody there from your family? No. No. no oh, that's awful. Knew. It was a big surprise to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just her, Michael, and a lot of chickens. <laughs> What's your favorite thing sexually? You like giving or receiving oral? Both. You like it both? Mm-hmm. You ever do another check? Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> said you had. I didn't believe it. <laughs> I, I knew ago. it. Long time ago. How old were you? 17, 16. Where did you meet her? I don't remember. I'm not going to say that. Oh, uh, you I'm know. I was going to go find, what do you dig mean, her you up. Know, <laughs> that's all right. Was it Cher's daughter? No. Oh, <laughs> give me a break with that. Was she hot, this chick? At the time. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You met her at boarding school, didn't you? Maybe. Oh, yeah. That's Maybe hot. Maybe not. Was it an all-girls boarding school? Nope. No. No? Mm -mm. Was it Connie Lingus? Oh. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't don't take, say what? Don't take this in the gutter, <laughs> Howard. This is hot. You were 17 and she was 17? We were around that. And like, how do you make that move? I mean, like, how does that happen? You, you instigated it or she instigated it? I thought there was a record coming out today. D oh, come <laughs> on, baby. Don't leave me hanging. What were you wearing when you had lesbian sex? Probably nothing. Really? And you went full out? Maybe. You did it all? Maybe. How many times did you do it? Oh, stop. Oh. I just did it. Prude. Just drop it. You just did it once? You liked it, I didn't you? Just go away. <laughs> would, you ever bring a, would you ever bring another girl in the bed uh, for your man? That would be a little too. I think you know what the idea of that is really great, but the 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 reality of it would be a bit hairy afterwards. I think that's, that's the first bad thing you've said. Well, you know. All right, so that could be sketchy. So you dabbled with chicks. Just one, or was there? There was just one. Okay. It's you not like I haven't had an urge, but I just oh really? I just keep it at bay. I see. Did you use a vibrator? No. You have one. You own one. No. When's the last time you were with a guy? Uh, well, I don't remember. Oh, come on, baby. You remember that date. You I got it written remember. down in your... <laughs> no, I don't. You don't remember the last time you were with a man? Mm -mm. Has it been a while? I don't remember. Who are you with I now? I don't think <laughs> it's been a while. I think she's... Uh, probably last night. Recently no. been... Who are you with, Fred Durst? No. Oh. oh, you had him in here. He gave it all up, didn't he? Right. 
Oh, come on, wow. some of your choice of men. It wouldn't be unreasonable to think that you <laughs> were with Fred Durst. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Who is it, Colin Farrell? No. Okay. So then you go to Nicolas Cage. Mm -hmm. No, I actually didn't go right from Michael. I had another boyfriend that nobody knew who he was. Kept that secret? Yeah, and then I had a... Who was it, Rudy Giuliani? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Little yeah. Romeo? Come on. You're going to have to tell me everything anyway. P. Diddy? <laughs> was it P. Diddy? No. Ever have a black guy? Uh, Michael Jackson. Oh, that's right. That's no. not a black guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> can we ask again? Did you ever have a black guy? <laughs> You're back with your ex-boyfriend, aren't you? No, I'm not. You're not? I'm not going backwards in, this, you know, in my car. All right. You're not going to tell me about Michael Jackson's penis, why it was so special? I will not. There's something on it, though, that that kid said he <laughs> could explain it. What is the... Something just give me this. on it. Come here. Listen to me. Come here? Give me... Yeah, come over here. <laughs> and, and if... If you don't answer this, I'm going to have to spank you. What is it that's different about Michael Jackson's penis that distinguishes it? Just answer that, please. I'm not answering any questions you have about to anybody's penis. Penis, sorry. I almost, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> is it a vagina, not a penis? Was that the <laughs> mind-blowing uh, secret down there? I'll wait for your answer. I'm not answering. I answer. can wait you out. Yeah, we, we got all day. I need to know. Tell me during I'm the commercial. Not, I'm not, I'm not. Wink yes if there's something weird down there. <laughs> oh, thank you. No, I didn't All wink. Right. <laughs> I didn't wink. All right. I blinked. All right, here's the key question. I'll know if you're real. Yeah. How much does it cost for a stamp? 13 cents. Oh, oh we got gotcha. you. Busted. <laughs> what is it? 1928, what is it? baby. Yeah. <laughs> The new album is called To Whom It May Concern. Mm. A reference to who? To Whom It May Concern. It's kind of a sarcastic. Because everyone's interested in your life. Because you're famous. Yeah. Yeah. The single is called Lights Out. Do you feel any pressure on this album? Do you feel yeah. like you do? Yeah. Like you want it to sell well? No, it's not so much sell. That's the record company that wants that. But, I, you know, it's just it's a lot to break through the celebrity stuff and just sort of try to put something out there. It's hard for, for people to listen to your music. Did you ever get tempted to release the album and not do it under your own name? Yes. You thought about that? I thought about that and or just using my initials or, or using a band name. See, I would have done that. Yeah. Because uh, I think your music's good. I think people would have evaluated it differently. Right. It's hard. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Thanks. You just got the whole Elvis thing you got to contend with. Mm. If you can get past that, what, are you going to go on tour? Hey, I see you got your glasses on right now. Oh, yeah, I'm turning you on. <laughs> right. Wait, what are you, you going to go on tour? Yeah, in May. Who With who? I don't know yet. You I got a band? I think it's going to be like a small venue tour. I'll come see you. You will? Yeah. I played last night. I thought you might be there. Oh, where are you going to be? I where were you? I was at this, uh, sound, this sound stage doing a sort of a showcase Wh What thing. time were you doing that? I think it was 9 o'clock. I can't go. I go to bed early. Do you? Yeah. Mm. My women go to bed early. Do they really? That's right. Then we're, we, yeah, it's not going to work out. Oh, it'll work out. Believe me. It'll do what I say. No. <laughs> There'll be no reason wow. to if you quit your job. <laughs> oh, that's right. I don't have to go to bed early. That's true. <laughs> Look, you're dough. What am I working for? <laughs> I don't need to work. It's the only thing that freaks me out about you, that you married that guy. I know. That's a little off. Yeah. Well. That's a little crazy. But I've happen. dated crazy chicks. Yeah, but you didn't marry him. No, I'm not marrying anybody. <laughs> but I'm just saying. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being crazy. You're looking at a number one loon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah. I'm at the therapist four but, days a week. But there's crazy and there's crazy. <laughs> oh. According to everyone in my life, I'm crazy. You ain't that crazy. Actually, I'm crazy. <laughs> but, you know. Did you get into a fight with Paris Hilton recently? Did I read that? I didn't actually. I don't blame you. I, I, I wouldn't not do that. It's just that I, I didn't throw. I have a friend who likes throwing drinks on her. And like acting like, you know, just like last time we were at a party, she bumped and uh, went off Britney Spears and dumped it on Paris. So this, she did it that night, right? She said, I just threw a drink on Paris. Then she, then I said, I don't believe you. So then Paris came around again and on her back directly, she throws, <laughs> tosses the <a> drink. <laughs> Meanwhile, my friend jumps out of the way. So by the time she turns around, I'm standing there with my thumb up my butt, basically looking right at her. And so she's, and then I find out that she planned to put the story out, that I did that. So I don't know. Can you handle yourself? Do you, do you know karate? Um, I, I... I know your dad was into karate and... No, I don't know karate. Your mom ran off of that karate guy. What about your brother? Don't you have some brother that your mom ha married the karate yeah, guy? Yeah, um, no, not the karate guy. This, uh, no. she's with... That was a long time ago. I have a, um, 16-year-old brother. Does he have to... Does he get all this money? No. Good. No. Does he try to hit you up for some cash? Not at all. No, he's like a nihilistic 
great, you know. You I like this kid? I love him. Yeah, he's great. So you have to help him out, right? No, he's fine. Really? Yeah. Isn't that he's driving crazy? He's 16 and he lives with Priscilla. Yeah, what he does he need helping home. out for? All right. He's going to come snooping around. Believe me, he's the kind of kid, if I wanted to give him anything, he doesn't want it. He's, he's yeah. like, doing the opposite of... Wait, wait till he wises up. <laughs> yeah, when he's 21, he's going to want a Corvette or something. What was that whole story about Nicolas Cage throwing your wedding ring in the ocean? Your engagement ring. I didn't say he threw it. He's a hothead. Tough guy. Let him come in here. I'll kick his ass. Mr. Tough Guy. He looked yeah. pretty tough when he walked in here. No, he didn't. <laughs> he was all was a clad punk. in leather, and, you know, he had a swagger leather. about him. He's leather. One of, those, one of those punks. Who wears leather? What year is this? Yeah. Right? Am I right or am I wrong? I don't know. Do you wear leather? Here and there. I've got a leather skirt on today. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. A lot of people wear leather. Shirt. Leather's wear, back. You wearing panties? Mm-hmm. What do you wear? A thong or... Mm -hmm. uh, you oh, do? Yeah. How you looking that? I don't know. You know how Depends you look. on what day. That's right. You seem a little tired today. You were up partying, weren't you? No. I had an hour sleep the night before last, and I had three last night. I'm on L.A. time. I'm All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about... Uh, you like smoking pot? No. You don't smoke any pot? I don't. Coke? No. Crystal? Just alcohol. Never did Coke? Yeah, when I was a teenager. No kidding. Boy, you were bad. That's when I should have yeah. met up. <laughs> you were doing Coke? How, yeah. how old did you start doing that? I was 16. 16? Yeah. Mom illusion. You don't like do being I? alone? No, I hate it. So what do you do at night if, if you, you... What do you got, somebody sleeping over? When? At night when you get lonely. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Brian, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, Lisa. How you doing? You seem like a real down-to-earth girl. How do you deal with all that media hype being dragged through the, you know, with the Michael Jackson thing, Nicolas Cage? I'm kind of trying to deal with it now by talking about it, I guess. That's hey, you know what? What's the big deal? It's not a big when deal. When you think, think about it, I think it's a great life. I think it's well, I, the only thing I worry about, I don't mind uh, what goes on now, but she was a kid, and she grew up in a fishbowl, and that's kind of hard to do. Mm. Yeah, I mean... I only wish I had a fishbowl to grow up I know, up you in. need the attention. I would love the but attention. But not everybody this is a fishbowl. wants it. I need constant attention. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. He missed hey, the Howard, fishbowl. Hey, Howard, you were the king. You were the king to get this interview. I wish I was sitting right next to you right now. Well, I didn't do anything, but Lisa's the one who made it happen, so well, I do really awesome. thank I you for that. really cool down to earth and... When you come to Maryland, maybe I'll catch up with you. Awesome. Thanks. Are you really down to earth? Do you go shopping? Yeah. You go we to the supermarket? Mm -hmm. right, let me ask you something. How much does a quart of milk cost? Mm, was it a buck fifteen? It's pretty close. Maybe. It's about I'm, a not, sure. I'm not sure myself. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> I know. How much <laughs> I'll be is, with is you. a dozen eggs? Um, around the same. Okay. That's okay. pretty good. What does oh, wait, gas wait. cost? Oh, wait, I got a better one. What? How much does a CD cost? Yeah, uh, fifteen bucks, twenty bucks. Yeah, okay. Wow. Mm, pretty aware. What is gas? How much is gas? What is gas? What kind of gas? What is gas? For your car. Oh, what is gas? I, I don't have a clue. I fill it up, <laughs> twenty-five bucks, thirty. <laughs> All right. Here's the key question. I'll know if you're real. Yeah. How much does it cost for a stamp? Thirteen cents. Oh, oh, we got gotcha. you. Busted. <laughs> what is it? 1928, what is it? maybe. Yeah. <laughs> 37, 37 cents. cents. Oh, no. <laughs> Why do you go shopping, though? I mean, if you got all that money. I do everything. Why? I'm not, I don't live like you think I live. I know you like to think that, but I don't. You don't I drive myself. And what kind of car do you drive? It's what a Mercedes. It's an older version. I get attached. I don't buy all these. Why, why, not, why, why all the poor? I have one house. Why I, live like that, though? Because I'm happy like that. Didn't you have more than one house at one time? I mean, I travel. I know how to. I know how to live well when I want to, but I don't make a habit of just being. Uh, you know. Who are your friends? You got any famous friends? Um, uh, that you would know. Yeah. Manson. Marilyn Ma Manson. No, yeah. I was gonna say Charles. Oh, Charles Manson. That's <laughs> a Charles? real. Yeah, we that's a list. Regularly. Honey. Yeah. Right. So that is a list. <laughs> yeah, he did. We co-wrote a song on my album. You didn't oh, bang him, did you? <laughs> did you bang him? Who Manson? Manson. No. And who else do you hang out with? Um. Uh, j uh, the rest of the people I hang out with are not like I'm just saying people you, you All right. know but the rest of them are like just people that I've known for a long time yeah. I have the same friends I had when I was 17 you ever take all your friends like on a cruise or take them on an expensive vacation yeah. somewhere yeah, that, I yeah, I don't like to go anywhere I, I don't like being alone too. you don't like do being I? alone no I hate it so what do you do at night if, if you, you what do you got somebody sleeping over when at night when you get lonely <laughs> <laughs> why I'm just, I'm just asking I don't know <laughs> um well, no, I have, I have, there's a lot of people around all the time. Oh. That's, 
<clears throat> a habit I got into. Like a little party house? Yeah. Well, I bet you'd be good being her friend. Yeah, because you get to hang oh. out at the house. Be the best. Yeah. But really? you used to have more than one house. You, you sort of downsized? Yeah, I, I had one in Florida, but yeah. I, I couldn't stand it. Yeah. So I... I so you just hang out at home and drink. That's hot. Yeah, I hang out. Yeah, I do. So it's a party every night? I, I, yeah, I try not to. I try to do every other night because lately it's been getting out of hand. You watch movies and stuff? Sometimes. Hmm. It's not my preference. I'd rather drink with my friends. Just drink and then talk? Talk. Drink and listen to music? Silly, whatever, listen to music, yeah. Really? But, but it's all about drinking. It's like all about, do you drink? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, when I first met you, we were both drunk. I That's think. right. Yeah. Yeah. Surprised nothing happened. <laughs> All right, look. Yeah, you seemed pretty wasted that night. I did? Yeah. Oh, give me a break. You couldn't even remember talking to me. I remember listening to you the next morning. <laughs> you didn't have much to say. say. For someone who likes to drink and talk a lot, you didn't have a lot to say. Yeah, well, you're kind of, uh, you know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. We didn't get to talk very much. I said, hi, nice to meet you. You ever drink alone? No. Always friends. No, that would be that would be getting. I That'd be know, bad. Things were going really awry at that point. You think you got a little problem with that drinking? Do I have a problem with it? Yeah. Probably. You drink every night? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> it's been four nights now, three or four. All right. I've been dry. <laughs> well, you know bone. the exact amount of nights, it might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Ever black out? Um, very, very rarely. All right. I can hold it pretty well. What do you wear when you drink? <laughs> <laughs> All right, forget it. All right, listen. Lisa Marie Presley's album, To Whom It May Concern, is, uh, is in stores now. Today, Today is the big day. That's right. Hey, do you think it would work if Gary came in with some I-1 money to, for to get topless? <laughs> oh, get out of here. What are you talking about? Yeah, you what would it have take have for you to show me your boobs? $1,000. Oh, is there any amount of money? I guess <laughs> Later. not. Later. Okay, Later. thank you. Yeah. Listen, Lisa Marie, you're great. You've been very honest. Thank Everyone you. was looking forward to you being here. You're brave to come here because, uh. believe me, this is not easy. <laughs> it's not easy to sit here in a room full of morons. There are many people <laughs> who won't take this step. That's right. <laughs> but you took it, and I'm proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. You're a hero today. Well, I have a crush on you now. You do? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh. See, Damn. now if you want to go off on my taste in men, then hey now. we're going to, yeah. You do have bad taste. I <laughs> like it. <laughs> you have really bad taste in men. It was when she found out you were crazy. She just yeah, <laughs> that does it. <laughs> yeah, believe That's me. That's a sure way to get me. My kind of crazy is way out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. <laughs> well, I have a crush on you. And I like your fishnets. <laughs> and you're, uh, lose the kids. Oh, stop. All right. You have kids? It's different. Yeah, he can keep his kids. My kids are important. (laughs) My my kids are very important. All right. So anyway, listen. Yeah. It was good meeting you, and I wish you luck on the album. Thank you. Lisa Marie, was it as bad as you thought it was? No, but it's when I leave that it's gonna get mad. I'm sure. Why? Because some of the things you said. He's gonna rip on me. No, I I think you and him got along pretty well. Do you? What about but it? initially stayed? when you came and you said they're going into a den of vultures, <laughs> do you still feel that way? No, they were nice, but it's when you it leave. Should, it should be <laughs> so you think he's going to bad man you now? Probably. Really? Yeah. What, what's your opinion of him now that you've got to sit and meet? I think he's, I met him already once. He's sweet. Maybe we should go back. So you, like, you're going to keep your promise and come back? I think, yeah, I'll come back. All right, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye.